What is good, my beautiful people? Today, we're coming back with another banger. Now, today, ladies and gentlemen, we got a special video. I'm going to show you guys how to transfer coins as safe as possible in FIFA 22. This is an update from my last year's video. Uh, now, of course, transferring coins is against EA's policy. So, in the eyes of EA Sports, we are criminals, unfortunately. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. But we are going to do it as safe as possible to avoid our accounts getting banned. So before we begin, if this helps you out, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But on that, let's get straight into it. All right. So this is what I call the 70% method. Now you might ask, what is that 70% method? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I got my notes here, by the way. Um, so anyways, the 70% method is you only list cards for 70% or less of their max price, okay? The less, the better. I say 20 to 70% is, is a safe range. There are some exceptions to that rule, and we will go over that, but... It is uh, 20 to 70%. So pretty much what it is is just buying a cheap card that has a high price range. And you list them for 70% of less of their max price. Uh, now I do recommend to limit to transfer only 50 to 200,000 coins per day. The less the better. You do want to be safe. And also remember to take breaks. A major key to take breaks. So yeah, that, that is explaining what that method is now what kind of cards are we using so for bronze cards silver cards and gold cards these are the exceptions to the 70 percent rule the the reason being is you're transferring so little amount of coins that even listing them for 10k their max price isn't that much of a red flag for ea when you get to a higher amount that's when you want to be you don't want to use those but for bronze cards i say 20k or, or less is generally safe 25k or less for silver cards and gold cards 50k or less now to transfer the big bucks the big money tell them to bring me my money yeah! you do want to use special cards so 50 to 200k for special cards or icons um now icon icons are a very special exception to this rule reason being they are so expensive and they have such a high uh price range that you could actually transfer more than 200k at once with an icon now if you do that i would recommend to only do it once and then wait a couple of days uh let's say an icon sells for 200k and his max price is 700k you could list them for i don't know let's say 550 right so you could transfer that high amount of coins but then i would recommend to wait a couple of days until you transfer coins again so that is the exception with icons keep that in mind okay now what kind of cards do you use we kind of went over this already but you want to use team of the week cards always be on the lookout because the price ranges get updated every other day every week ea updates the price ranges they do not want us transferring coins so you do want to use fresh cards as much as possible because they are the best to transfer team of the week cards promo cards uh gold cards that have a high price range so there are some gold cards with high price ranges and icons like i said i'm gonna put examples of players you could use right now but like i said they constantly get updated now i am gonna be making a discord updating what kind of cards to use um i'm gonna be updated updating that constantly so join that discord i'll probably put a link in the description and i'll probably put a pin a comment in the video to join the discord that way you can stay up to date with what cards i'm using to transfer some key tips some major keys he's going to give you the keys to success to more wins and more blessings okay the newer the club the higher risk so if your club is newer you want to be a little more careful just because it's such a fresh account that uh for some reason uh the system it flags fresher accounts more often than if your account was a long-standing account you had ultimate team for a couple years so the newer account the higher risk you want to limit it to two to five players per transfer the less the better you could use more players but uh, the less players you use the better so i say two to five players per transfer is recommended 
Now, it is very important to take breaks. Like I said, you want to wait 24 hours at least till you do another transfer. Um, you could wait. You could do it every two days and do a transfer. But you do want to take breaks. If you're constantly transferring coins every day, I say after about five days, take a break. Always take breaks. It is always important to take breaks. Also, you do want to buy cards on your main account after you transfer. You don't have to. But I do recommend it to buy cards on your main account once you transfer. So hopefully with the coins you transfer, you're able to buy a card that you're after. And then as soon as you transfer the coins from that SBC account, you do want to delete the club after the transfer. So always remember to delete the club ASAP as soon as possible. And last but not least, I've been saying this, it is not a sprint, it is a marathon. The long and steady will win the race. Don't rush. If you got a million coins to transfer, don't try to do that in a couple of days. Span that on over a week or two or even a month. Span that over a, a long period of time. The slow and steady win the race. Now, let's get into an example of transferring coins. So I'm going to open up my SBC account here. So this right here is an SBC account I have. Right here we got 73,000 coins. With taxes, with transferring players, you're gonna lose coins on EA tax. That is why you do wanna use the, the cheaper cards you can use to transfer the most amount of coins. So the, the best bang for your buck, you know? Uh, but this is my SBC account. Now I'm gonna open up my main account. I'll show you guys the coin balance here. So this right here is my main account, King Chino Gaming top left. 152,000 coins is what we have at the moment. Now, what I highly recommend, so you don't have to keep switching between accounts, is just use the Foot Companion app on your phone or the web app on a computer um, to list the cards from your main account. So I am gonna just screen record my phone. I'm gonna use the web app on my phone, and then I'll show you guys on the screen here as well what I'm doing with my SBC account. Let's get to it. So I'm using a couple players. These are kind of bad players to use just because um you're not transferring that many coins per card so you know this ain't working out the best but i'm sure with w ones to watches uh there will be amazing cards to use or next week maybe there might be a better team of the week to trade with but we are gonna use mr tony from the team of the week he does have a price range of 50k and he goes for around 17k and we are gonna use saint jutes he goes for 19 to 20k at the moment and he sells uh, his max price range is 55k we're also gonna use mr leon bailey he sells for 7.6 uh and his max price is 25k and then to finish it off we're just gonna use a random gold card uh to transfer what, what's left after we sell on leon bailey so let's get to it i'm gonna screen record my phone and show you guys what i do on my screen here so as you see right here we are gonna look for Mr. Tony. Okay, so I bought both of them right there. I'm gonna list each up. 70% would be 35k. So I'm gonna list both of them for 35k. You could also list them for like 3, 6, or 12 hours. That way it's easier to find your card on the transfer market. Alright, so we list them up here. So now we're gonna search up for the one and only Tony on our sbc account okay so right here there are two for 35k but mine did not have a chemistry style so that's why i recommend like that's when we know it's mine for three hours so yeah do it for three or six hours makes it easier to find it but we're gonna buy each of these tonys here and then just relist it i am for the video's sake i'm gonna list them a little less than he's actually worth that way they sell right away so i can show you guys um the full transfer process so we did buy them for 17k but we're gonna list them up for 16.5 that should be good okay they both sold right away so maybe we could have sold it for a little more <laughs> but uh okay so that's good there now we could use another tony right here actually then we actually one Leon. okay this is what we'll do we let's skip saint juice we're not gonna we should have used them in the beginning to be honest but we're just gonna buy uh, another tony now we're gonna list them for 34,500 as we have 36k for three hours. There we go. Let's look for that special boy. All right, right there. There is our Tony. 
all right 16.5 again um you should sell asap so this is where we're gonna use leon bailey and list them up for whatever price we have left uh so right there 15 oh if only we had 15.8 but we're gonna list up uh leon bailey or is that his name leon bailey right yeah yeah that, that's the right bailey so as you see right here we're looking up for leon bailey on the web app and he sells for 17.6 i believe or 7.6 might be a little more 17.9 now you could also not buy now you could just bid to save some coins but uh, i'm i'm not really worried about all that for the video's sake so there we go um we'll list up first 15.25 so we're listing it up now we're gonna search for bailey here okay here is my leon bailey so we bought him for let's list them for 7.8 coins there we go our leon bailey has sold so we are left with 17.451 if only with 7.5 but it is what it is now on the on my phone i'm gonna list up just a random gold card so hopefully you have one in your club or you could just buy one um and we are gonna list this guy what's his name tufan 7.400 okay there we go tufan where are you at i'm hunting you down too fun there we go three hours and just like that we have transferred all the coins i have seen it from the me recording listing players my coin balance going up but let's just first let's delete the club then i'll show you guys my new coin balance on my main account right here delete the club this is my first club deletion for this sbc account as you see right there new balance is 214k nice little dub we lost around 10k with the taxes and everything but hey small price to pay for transferring coins safely keyword safely so that that's it that's pretty much all there is to it ladies and gentlemen i uh, hope you guys found that very very helpful um leave a like if you did and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button like I said, I'm going to make a Discord. I'll leave a link in the comments or in the, well, in the description too. Uh, but that way you guys know uh, what cards to use. And if you have any questions, I'll be there to help you guys out. So that is all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you all have a great rest of your day and go get that money.